Rebuilding or overhauling one of these little carburetors is not all that difficult. As long as you can keep track of where all your little pieces go. And that's one good thing about making a video of it. You can definitely play it back <laughs> and put pieces back opposite how you took them off. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this bottom plate off and I'm, and I'm wanting to remember that as I'm looking under it here at my uh, high and low speed adjustment that the hole in this, this bottom plate is pointing towards the engine. This uh, gasket was a, was the gasket between the carburetor and the engine block. So, I gotta remember that little hole goes towards the engine. Now, if you if you aren't filming yours, make notes, make all kinds of notes. Uh, there used to be a book called uh, uh, something along the lines of the Complete Idiot's Guide. <laughs> But it was, uh, it, there was a series of books. One of them was rebuilding a Volkswagen engine. And uh, one of the things they suggested was at each step, use a Ziploc bag and label it with what the parts were and where they went. And put a number on them and, and then put everything back in reverse order. Okay, just like I dropped that. Had I not already paid attention what direction that goes, I might have got confused. So I'm going to lay this up here out of the way. And I'm going to make a row of these little pieces so I know what goes where. And I like seeing here on my video that I've got my little piece here that's got the metal. is on the bottom. Because this should actually be two pieces. There we go. So we've got this little this little pump here. And we have a gasket. Okay. So whenever you open up your uh, overhaul kit. A rebuilding kit you're gonna find now you've got this gasket and you've got this and this is not in real bad shape but it's not real soft either that's one thing about these they get dried out and I'm probably gonna to have to take a pocket knife here just scrape this gasket right here off I want to point out to you this right here okay This is, this is what opens up your metering valve to allow fuel to flow into your carburetor. And the little feller is just not doing anything here. There it goes. That little needle valve is not wanting to fall back in place. Fortunately, the rebuild kit has a new one. But there's a spring right under right under this deton or hole or dent right here, there's a spring. Now before I take this off, I want to tell you ahead of time that once this gasket is off, you lay a straight edge across here. And with this assembled, this piece right here that is supposed to be between 60 and 70 thousandths gap. If I lay a straight edge across there, like I said, with, with, the, uh, with the gasket off of it, there's supposed to be a 60 
to 70 thousandths gap. All right. So I'm going to hold my finger over this as I loosen this screw because I don't want this, that screen or that screw to go flying. There we go. I didn't like the I didn't like that that was hard to get out. I'm gonna run these pieces back through the parts cleaner after I take off what I need to take off. Now I'm gonna pull these adjusting valves off. Because like I said, we're gonna give this thing another bath in the ultrasonic parts cleaner. And you can't get them wrong. One of them, one of them is has got thicker, uh, a wider body than the other. I don't know if you can see that, but one of them, one hole is bigger than the other, so you don't have to worry about getting them mixed up. Okay, now. The next thing I want to take off is I want to remove this side now. very carefully looks good all right Okay, the, these, blah, blah, blah. this right here is supposed to be soft and supple, and it is stiff as a board. So these diaphragms definitely needed to be replaced. Little reed valves. They, they should be soft. They're not at all soft, they're stiff. Okay, and it's actually, this is actually two pieces. You can see here, maybe you can see it. There's two pieces. And the, remember when we put it back together, the thick gasket's on top. All right. This old screen right here comes out if you've got a rebuild kit. And all you need is a little something sharp to dig at it dig it out of there and it doesn't hurt if you poke a hole in it because you got a new one to put back in got a drywall screw here
There it go. Okay. All that is is just a little screen to help filter fuel. That's what it looks like right there. Okay. And that's about as far as I need to tear this down. I could pull these Welsh plugs out, but I don't see any reason to do that at this time. Sometimes you get more trouble you bargain for. So this is about as far as you typically need to take this down. So we're going to put a few pieces back in the ultrasonic parts cleaner. And we're going to let them clean for a little while. Well, alrighty then. Uh, let's see if we can put this thing back together. Let's see here. Alrighty then. One really important thing about this is where the where the needle goes in there, you want to make darn sure you can see through that. You see on this side is where that that little screen goes in. And you want to make sure that you can see light through it because the fuel flows through the screen and then it the needle valve allows it to flow into the carburetor. So I want to make sure all this is nice and clean. I ran it through the machine another couple of times. This is the hard part for a guy with big fingers. Let's see if we can stick his carburetor back on this hedge trimmer. See if we can get start. Went over and saw my buddy TJ at H and H Small Engines in Parkin, Arkansas. And uh, he hooked me up with the two screws that I needed to go right here. So I appreciate that. Uh, there's a little two and a half minute blurb at the end of this video where uh, I'm visiting him. I drove all the way to Parkin, Arkansas. 300 miles just to get them damn screws. Y'all don't believe that, do you? <laughs> but I did drive to Park in Arkansas and I did get them damn screws. Wife's gonna come home. Why does our house smell like gasoline? I don't. I don't know, honey. Why does our house smell like gasoline? Is this a trick question? <laughs> um. I don't know. Why does it smell like gasoline, sweetheart? Now, the only thing that I don't have installed yet is my little bushing that goes down there on my blade. So I can start it, but I can't run I can't run it up because I don't have the bushing yet. It's supposed to be here the next day or two. Alright. Now, the old ways was you ran it all the way in, then you backed it out a turn and a half. There's a half. There's a turn, there's a turn and a half. There's a half. There's a turn, there's a turn and a half. Okay. I ought to be able to get it to start right there. Then of course I have to adjust it, but hopefully it'll start. I don't know if I'd make my wife mad if I fired this up in the house. Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, better take yours outside. <laughs> She'd probably sure enough get mad at me. <laughs> oh. I think this is how I hurt my back. I'm jerking on this damn thing. Anyway. Full choke. No. Half choke. Well, how y'all doing? It's Papa again. And we down here visiting a, another YouTube friend. Down here visiting Miss Belinda, TJ, and his daddy. TJ down here at H&H &H Small Engines in Parkin, Arkansas. A long damn way from my house, let me tell you. <laughs> What's up, guys? There's TJ. There's his daddy. How you doing? Hey, what's your name? Jim. Jim. All right, there's Jim and TJ. I'm going to let them tie that four-wheeler in place that they talked me into buying. Sure. While I come over here and talk to the beautiful Miss Belinda. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh. oh. Hey, guys. So, so <laughs> here's Belinda. This is TJ's... Uh, best influence <laughs> she tries to keep him out of trouble but it is a full time job <laughs> and TJ's going to move to Mississippi can you believe that you going to go with him mm -hmm. poor bless your heart yep <laughs> oh god <laughs> anyway they felt sorry for me whenever I told them I had to had a heck of a hill I had to climb to get to my cabin on my little farm down there in Moore County they said, well, we got just what you need, so they hooking me up. So anyway, if you ever need any small engine work done, and you're near parking uh, Arkansas, just outside of Memphis, give old TJ or, or Jim, Jim, right? Mm -hmm. My memory's about as long as something else I got. Give TJ or Jim a holler. Tell them you want something fixed. They'll do it right. Well, folks. Oh. Folks, I do have to tell you, it was a heck of a drive over here from Tullahoma, Tennessee. And I am plum tarred. So, I'm going to end this. Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye.